known that the direct cause of the Great War, or World War I, was the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austrian throne in 1914. But what were the underlying causes of this bloody global conflict? Well, there were four foundational principles. These included militarism, imperialism, nationalism, and alliances. Militarism contained but was not limited to forced conscription, large and mobilizing armies, as well as new weapons and technology, including airplanes, submarines, as well as innovations to existing guns. The concept of imperialism was rampant throughout Europe, especially in the late 19th century. Countries wanted to extend their influence both politically and economically through their military. Examples include the Franco-Prussian War, where the German Empire annexed Alsace-Lorraine, and the Russo-Turkish War, where the Ottoman Empire suffered a large defeat against the aggressive Russians. When it came to nationalism, countries focused on their particular interests, disregarding those of their neighbors. Nationalism was also expressed by separatists who strive for independence, such as Serbs and Bosnians living in this region in Austria-Hungary. Prior to the war, two major alliances formed, the Triple Alliance and the Triple Entente. The Triple Alliance consisted of the German Empire, Austria-Hungary, and later Italy. How did it form? Well, it went something like this. Hey, Austria-Hungary, I'm really not liking Russia's growth in power recently. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that we make a defensive military alliance that says that we'll support each other in the event that Russia declares war on one of us. <laughs> That's a deal I'm not rejecting, my friend. Tell me about it. The Russians are crazy. Hey, guys, can I join this alliance? France took Tunisia and North Africa away from me, and I'm not too happy about it. Yeah, sure, man. That's cool. But in the event of war, you're going to support and defend both Austria-Hungary and I, right? Uh, yeah, sure. The Triple Entente was a military alliance between Russia, Great Britain, and France over the increasing strength of the German army and its perceived threat. Great, now that we have an understanding of the diplomatic relations between several European countries, let's fast forward to that infamous day, June 28th, 1914. <laughs> Wow, isn't it just a great day to be driving in an open-top car within a part of our country that hates us? Well, I mean, conditions could be better. Like, what if there are some assassins on the road, they throw bombs at us, miss, and then somebody shoots us because we make a wrong turn? Hey, just shut up. Shut up. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Well, how ironic. It actually happened. And frankly, I don't even know how I'm talking because I'm supposed to be dead. Hey, Serbia, do you have something to do with this? Maybe. Maybe not. But even if we did, why would we tell you? You know what? Good point. Good point. We declare war on you. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Let's not jump to conclusions. Russia, quiet down. Let us do our thing. What we call the Schlieffen Plan. To avoid fighting a war on two fronts, we're going to invade Belgium, conquer Paris, and attack the large French force located on our border with France from behind. Then, we'll just focus our effort on Russia in the east, and we'll win the war. Ugh, I was out of it. What are we talking about? Russia, we declare war on you. Hold on, so if you're gonna invade Belgium, why are you declaring war on me? Wait, somebody's gonna invade me? Well, you're gonna take ages to mobilize, so... Why not? Don't you dare underestimate the power of Mother Russia. Yo, Belgium, let us pass our army through you. Nah, bro, I'm neutral. You can't just do that. Okay, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, Belgium, Germany just declared war on me. Yeah, man, you don't say. I'm being invaded. Do something about it. Okay, okay, I will, but <laughs> don't you think it's kind of funny how we're using telephones that were made decades after this call? That literally doesn't matter. Just send help. Okay, okay. Great Britain, declare war on Germany. Germany, we're declaring war on you because you violated Belgian neutrality. <laughs> That's amazing, but I could care less. Hey, Germany, you look a little bit distracted over there. Now don't mind me declaring war on you and stealing your colonies in China and the Pacific Ocean. Don't mind me at all. Hey France, I'm currently digging into Austria-Hungary. How are your armies doing? Not so good, not so good. We've retreated back to Marn, but we're expecting a huge battle. Mm, not surprised, not surprised. What are you gonna do, raise that white flag again? Yo, Russia, great news. There's a gap that opened up between two German army divisions, and I'm gonna send one of my armies to flank them in the north. Whatever you do, please do not screw up. Scheiße, they're trying to flank us. We need to make it to the North Sea so they can't completely ruin our plan. The 
Allied powers of the West, Great Britain and France, and the German Empire, a central power, which also included Austria-Hungary and the Ottoman Empire, had dug up approximately 700 kilometers of trenches stretching from the North Sea all the way to the Swiss border, trying to outflank each other on the way. They may be in the deadlock in the West, but in the Southeast, I'm getting bullied by the Ottoman Empire. How did our offensive campaign in the Caucasus fail? You know what? It had to be those ethnic Armenians. They definitely supported Russia. We need to kill them. Hey, yo, Ottoman Empire, did you just massacre 1.5 million ethnic Armenians? What the hell, man? That's messed up. Oh, you're gonna pay for this. Bro, you're literally causing the world to hate us. Maybe, but I can see your unrestricted submarine warfare against British ships causing a big problem. Nothing's gonna happen. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> Yet, yeah, Germany, can I have an explanation for this? It's not my fault that we sank the RMS Lusitania, a passenger ship. I mean, it did have munitions on it, and we also did say there could be mistakes. Well, how many people did it kill? 1,198. Did any Americans die? 128. Oh, no. Hey, how can I help you?